Microsoft's making big changes to Mixer, and I hope you're not attached to it. Hot off the blog, Microsoft is shutting down Mixer. Yes, Microsoft's game streaming platform, Mixer.com. It used to be called Beam Pro that they bought uh, several years ago. They tried making some changes last year to make things work. They are, it's done. Well, it's done. Microsoft is shutting it down. Officially announced today by Microsoft during the Apple keynote. Uh, I think that might have been intentional. I don't know if they were trying to bury the news or whatever they were doing. But Microsoft is shutting down Mixer. And they're going to be transitioning gamers or people who built their platforms on over to Facebook gaming. And Ninja and Shroud, who probably signed big contracts, not even probably, who absolutely signed big contracts to be streaming on that service, well, they're allowed to go back to Twitch. And so... This is huge news because Microsoft pumped a bunch of money into Mixer. They really, really, really wanted to take on Twitch, but Amazon bought it. It is by far the leading platform. Uh, Mixer was always dead last behind Facebook gaming, behind YouTube gaming, behind Twitch, obviously. And it just, it never caught on in the way I think Microsoft wanted. They tried. They gave it a good shot. They integrated it into the Xbox. They integrated a lot of different places. They tried original programming. They tried grabbing really big names. And none of it just really worked out. Now, I do think that there is some smartness to this move. First off, the reason on the timing. So it's going to end July 22nd. But if you're not familiar, Microsoft's fiscal year ends at the end of June. So starting July 1 is a new fiscal year. And basically what they're saying is, hey, we're going to run this out through the end of the fiscal year. And then starting early next fiscal year, we're going to be shutting it down. Now, why I think this does make some sense. Microsoft is trying to get xCloud everywhere. Microsoft wants to be the, the cloud streaming service of choice. And, you know, they're doing a lot to make that happen. They have it on Android devices. They have it on iOS devices. They want it everywhere. They want their service on everything. And that gets a little awkward with you're like saying, hey, stream our stuff on Twitch. You know, you're an xCloud gamer. Why don't you use Twitch to stream our stuff? Well, it gets a little awkward when Microsoft starts pushing Twitch or Facebook gaming or YouTube live or anything other than Mixer because, hey, they've got this weight on their shoulders that we got to pump up Mixer to the best of, their, of our ability, despite the fact that it's done absolutely nothing for the past couple years. So, you know, silver lining to the cloud of Mixer being shut down is that you're going to get better Twitch integration on your Xbox. I can almost guarantee that you're going to get better integration for YouTube, better integration for Facebook gaming. Microsoft isn't going to be a player in the streaming um, hosted domain, if you will, but they'll definitely have consoles and they'll let that, that stuff tie into their PC and just make it better for everything else. So while Mixer is going away, I think long term, this is a better strategy for Microsoft if they want to get xCloud Gaming into the mainstream on every single platform because it would be really, really tough to do that with Mixer behind them. Now, if there was any single spark inside of Mixer that would really boost up the platform, I don't think they would have shut it down. But the writing was on the wall. It just wasn't turning out. They tried. They really did try it. And you can't look at it and say Microsoft didn't do the right thing, right? They tried the original programming. It never worked out. They tried getting the biggest names in the industry, Ninja and Shroud. Yes, I know Shroud may not be the second largest, but he's way up there. Ninja is probably the largest, and it just didn't work. And so Microsoft is officially sunsetting that project um, or product, I should say. And if you're attached to Mixer, and yes, there are some good things, and Microsoft is retaining some of the technology behind it, well, say bon voyage and get your last little heart emojis in there because it's going away. And that is all that you need to know about what is happening with Mixer going forward.